What's up, guys? It's Mr. Bringle, and today we're going to be talking about the Force and Motion Concept Builder. You're only going to be doing the first two trophies here, the first two levels, horizontal and vertical motion only. Um, you're not going to do the third level. Um, it's just a combination of the first two. So let's start with horizontal motion. So it says an object is experiencing the, for the forces shown to the right. Each arrow represents a force in the specified direction. The length of the arrow represents the strength of the force. Which dot diagram or motion map represents a possible state of motion for the object? Select all that apply. So, um, it says a possible state of motion, select all that applies. So this is actually a little bit tricky because we have to consider, um, it doesn't tell us which direction the object's moving, right? So we have to consider how would this object behave if these forces were acting on it and it was moving to the right. And then we also have to think about the same situation if it was moving to the left. And this is gonna change things because remember, that a net force causes acceleration, right? That's Newton's second law of motion. So an unbalanced net force causes acceleration in the direction um, of the net force. So uh, in this case, when we look at this object, and we look at the forces in the horizontal plane, we can just ignore the vertical forces because we're only talking about horizontal motion. If we look at these forces here in the uh, horizontal plane, we notice that there is a net force going to the right. So there's unbalanced forces here, net force is pointed to the right. So I know that this object is going to accelerate to the right. But what it when we say accelerate, remember that does not specify speed up or slow down. Okay, so will it speed up or will it slow down is depending on which direction it's moving. So let's start by thinking about how this object would behave if the object was moving to the right. Since there is a net force pointed to the right, it's going to accelerate to the right. If it's already moving to the right, then that means it's going to speed up because the acceleration would be in the same direction that the object is moving. Think about rolling a shopping cart to the right across this screen right? If you want it to speed up, you have to push it to the right. Uh, there would have to be a net force greater than the force of friction that's trying to keep it in place, right? So um, the first motion map that we're going to select is the one that shows the object moving to the right and speeding up. And that's going to be this one right here. Now, we also have to consider how would this object behave if it was moving to the left? Well, we still have an acceleration to the right. So remember that when the acceleration of an object is in the opposite direction that the object is moving, that causes the object to slow down. So this would be like if you took that shopping cart and you were rolling it um, to, the, to the left now across the screen, and then I wanted to slow you down, what would I have to do? Well, I'd have to push against the shopping cart from the other side uh, pointed to the right, right? That would get you to slow down. Uh, so we also want to find the motion map that shows the object moving to the left and then slowing down. So that's going to be this one right here. And so really there's going to be a minimum of two answers for each of these motion or each of these force diagrams because um, you have to consider the two directions of movement. However, there are going to be some that have three answers. So I'll get to that when we see one. Check the answer here. Got it right and we'll move on. So um, this one's actually pretty much just the opposite. In this case, um, the net force or the unbalanced force is pointed to the left. So again, let's do the same thing. What would happen if this object was moving to the right? Let's start with that since that's the way we started in the last one. Well, since we have a net force that's pointed to the left, that means the acceleration would be pointed to the left. And when the acceleration is in the opposite direction of movement, it's going to cause the object to slow down. So we need to show or find the motion map that shows the object that's moving to the right. So one of these top ones, but that it's slowing down. So that would be this one right here. Um, another example of this would be like um, if I, you know, if there's a small, so there is a small force to the right here. So something that's maybe sliding a box, maybe there's a kid sliding a box across the ground um, and it's like uh, it's on the hardwood. So it's moving. And then all of a sudden you hit carpet and there's a lot more friction acting on the box. So now the force to the left has increased. Well, the box might slow down and eventually stop if there's not enough force to the right. So that'll be the first one. 
Now let's think about what would happen to this object if it was moving to the left. So again, there's a net force to the left, which causes acceleration to the left. Since it's in the same direction of movement, that would cause the object to speed up. So we want to find the motion map or dot diagram that shows that the object is moving to the left, so in the second row here, and that it's speeding up, showing that the dots are getting further apart. We'll check our answer, and we'll move on. Okay, so now this one um, has no force going to the left, but it does have a force going to the right. So again, these forces are unbalanced in the uh, horizontal plane. There's, an, there's a net force pointed to the right. So if the object was already moving to the right, it has a net force to the right. That means the acceleration will also be to the right. And since it's in the same direction of movement, this object would speed up if it was moving to the right. However, if the object was moving to the left, Again, the, the net force and acceleration would be pointed to the right, and therefore the object would slow down. So we need to find the one that shows the object moving to the left and slowing down. Okay, now this one's interesting because this is the first one that has balanced forces in the horizontal plane. Those arrows are the same length and going opposite directions, so they would balance each other out. Well, there's two possibilities here, okay? The first possibility is that this object is actually not moving. So I would choose the at rest one. And if you think about that, you can apply a force in opposite directions on an object and it not move, right? Um, you know, literally I can take my coffee mug here and I can push on it with both hands. I'm pushing on it, okay? I'm, I'm applying a large force in each direction, but is it moving either direction? No, because the forces are balanced. So, um, and maybe it'd be better to set it on the ground while I did that, but. Uh, so it could be at rest, right? The other option is that the object is already moving and is moving at a constant velocity. Because remember, if there was a net force in either direction, it would speed up or slow down. But if there's no net force, if the forces are balanced, it could just be moving at a constant velocity. So remember Newton's first law of motion, um, we already talked about at rest, but if an object's at rest, it's gonna stay at rest unless an unbalanced force acts on it. On the flip side, if an object is moving, it's going to continue to move at a constant velocity in a straight line until some unbalanced force acts on it. So it doesn't matter. You can still have forces acting on an object. Like for instance, I can slide my coffee mug across the table here, right? I can take this and I can slide it. Well, it's moving at a constant velocity, but you see me pushing it. So there has to be some sort of force that's acting in the other direction, in this case, friction, that is balancing out my push force. Otherwise, the mug would speed up, right? So uh, we're going to go ahead and choose the other two options that show constant velocity. And notice that I did have to pick the one that's pointed to the right and the one pointed to the left because there's no way of us knowing technically which direction this object is moving. So we're going to choose all three of those there. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the vertical ones for the sake of time. Um, you guys can figure out the other ones. The only other one that might give you a little bit of trouble is the one that has no forces on it horizontally. Um, but if you think about it, that's just treat it the same as you treated the last one. That would be balanced forces. There's Since there's no forces, there's balance on the left and the right. There's no net force. It would behave the same way the last uh, problem did. So let's go ahead and move on to the vertical um, problems here. And uh, this is no different than what we just did, except now we're looking at this in the vertical plane. So uh, we're looking at up and down instead of left and right. This object right here ha obviously has unbalanced forces acting on it. There is a net force pointed down. So once again, we have to consider what would happen if this object was already moving down. And then what would happen if this object was moving up? Okay, so let's say that this is a ball and I drop it, right? Well, the only force that's acting on it is going to be the force of gravity pushing it down and its weight would be pointed down. Um, and so that this would be like an object in free fall. So 
obviously when you drop something, it speeds up, right? Because there's a net force pointed down the whole time. So we'll pick the option that shows that the object is moving down and speeding up. Now, the flip side of that would be, what if this was moving up? So let's say, again, it's a ball, but I throw it up into the air. Well, again, the only force acting on it is gravity, and it's always pointed down. So what happens when you throw something up in the air? It slows down, eventually stops at its peak for just a brief second, and then it's going to come back down. So what we want to do is we want to find the one that's pointed up and shows the object slowing down. So that's going to be this one right here. Okay, um, I'll do one more and I'll let you figure out the others on your own. So um, again, let's think about this situation uh, if the object is first moving down. So in this case, there are unbalanced forces again, and specifically the unbalanced force or the net forces pointed up, right? So if this object was moving down, but has a net force that's pointed up, and that's going to cause it to accelerate in the opposite direction of its movement, which means that it would slow down. So we need to show or find the one that has the object moving downwards and slowing down. So that would be this one right here. Now let's think about it if it was moving up. So um, again, it has a net force pointed up which is the same direction of movement, which means that the object will accelerate in the same direction of movement, which means that it will speed up. So we wanna find the one that shows it moving up and speeding up. So this could be something like, uh, you know, like a rocket ship taking off and it's got a thrust force pointed up and air resistance isn't enough um, to slow it down or, or keep it at a constant velocity. Okay, so we'll check that answer. We got that and we can move on. So uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and let you guys finish this off on your own, uh, but, Go through each problem the same way. Use that process. Think about which direction is the net force. The acceleration will be in that same direction. And then all you have to do is decide, is that in the same direction of movement or opposite? Obviously, um, you will have you will consider both sides of that. And if the forces are balanced, remember, there are three possibilities. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.